Let's start the show. What do you guys think? Shall we start the show? I think. Around the bag. I take a group of people, I ask them questions, and we become friends. Tell everybody all about you. Got out of the market with lemon juice, Philadelphia cream cheese. Question is, how do you like your eggs? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, the tighter, the better. From your own daydreams and fantasies as well. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for Around the Bag? You're damn right you're ready. Welcome to Around the Bag, my friends. My name's Ian Bag. You know the show. I invite three friends over to my house virtually, and they vie to become my BFF for the week. Tonight, we're going to have a lot of fun with Tommy. Tommy is here. Candace is here. And something happened to Lachlan. He just disappeared right before we started. He panicked. He thought these two are going to kick my ass. I can't be involved in this. He'll be back in a second, and then we'll bring him in. Candace, welcome to the show. Tell everybody all about you. Hello, Ian. Thank you for having me. I'm, uh, t I don't know what to say. I'm a comic writer, actor, and uh, I'm originally from New York, then Cincinnati, Ohio, and now I reside in Los Angeles. Nice move. New where everything York, is on fire. Cincinnati. Why were you in New York, Cincinnati, and then Los Angeles? Fantastic. Yeah. Did you move, move why did you move to Cincinnati, just out of curiosity? Well, I was a child, so I didn't oh! control. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I apologize. Yeah, I, no, I was like, what a weird move. I, I trust me, I knew at like 10 years old, I was like, Dad, this is a bad move. Dad, what uh, you yeah, no, his, his job got transferred, and oh, we, no. me and my sister were like, just, this is a mistake. And so we, we sucked it up, and but I knew then by the time, I was like, oh, it's, I just have to get out of Cincinnati, so that's when I moved to L.A. Well, we welcome to LA. Have a good time on the show. Hope you win. Tommy, <laughs> tell everybody all about you. Uh, I'm a Chicago comic, uh, and I'm from St. Paul, Minnesota. Grew up there, lived in California for a little bit, San Francisco, moved to Chicago to start comedy Ooh. four or five years ago. And uh, yeah, been here ever since. Um, I guess... I don't know. That's that's me. I'm a Midwest kid through and through. I'm hold hold. Well, I think you're fantastic. Kids. Don't you get upset about yourself? I guess that's me. You are doing just fine, young man. Don't anybody Thank push you, you around. Thank you. Speaking of hippies, welcome back, Lock. There he is. Ah, otherwise known Dude. as Lachlan Panderson. Please tell us all about you. Uh, <laughs> I hate that question, man. <laughs> it's not. It's not a Tinder question. It's just like. <laughs> I do comedy. I used to play hockey. I'm beautiful, beautiful, beautiful man. That's what you have to say. All right. I don't. You, people always say this. You, you ever like a friend? I hate this when you haven't seen someone in like a month and they come mm -hmm. up and go, "What's been going on?" I can't. <laughs> there's just too much is happening. <laughs> but I'm a stand-up comedian, right? Yes, I you're stand-up comedian. Mm -hmm. Ian, and uh, I'm not as talented as everyone in your. Uh, but I've been doing it a long time. I've been doing it for about 22 years. And uh, still probably my biggest credit is I was a runner-up on Last Comic Stand. Good for you. Good win. And by the way, those are beautiful shades behind you. That's what I want to say. Those are beautiful shades behind you. Very impressed. Welcome, everybody. We're going to have a good time. Let's start this game. The questions are coming fast and furious. Here I go. Here goes the first question. How do you like your coffee? How do you like your coffee? Candace, let's start with you. Oh, uh, I don't really drink coffee. Mm. I know it's controversial. I uh, I do like it, but I I it's very acidic, so I do like matcha. I'm more of a matcha type gal. But if I do do coffee, oh. then I, I do need some like alternative creamer in there. Oh yes, alternative creamer, uh -huh. otherwise known as <laughs> sugar. Tommy, how do you like your coffee? Don't go hippie. Don't go hippie like Candace. Don't do yoga and get a goddamn matcha. Go ahead, tell us how you like your coffee. I'm, yeah, black through and through. Either um, I'll go iced coffee once in a while in the summer, mm, really, really mm. spice things up, but still black. I can't really do creamer. I started drinking coffee in college before I like bought anything aside from coffee grounds. So good, good for you, that getting fancy, getting the chicks with your coffee maker back in college. By the way, Carrie just taking me down first. In fixes <laughs> green screen. Yeah, my green screen. I got some new lights, Carrie. Just shut it up, okay? This is a very professional show. Hi there, Lachlan. How do you like your coffee? Uh decaf and black what decaf Son decaf man bitch. i can't i can't take that 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 energy that anxiety so i uh i switch i got a kidney stone and a and uh, uh anyway 
I'll tell you how you should drink your uh, coffee if you got a kidney stone. Water. That's how you should do it. That's no, no coffee at all. You should be just drinking water. That's all you should do. Let's give some points away. I'm going to give 115 to Candace for changing the flavor of what we were drinking. Tommy gets 120 for drinking it straight black like a real man. Future Tommy is Lachlan. He's got a, he's got a stone called a kidney stone. So we'll give him 125. God, this game is tight and starting out quick. My God. My God. Hey, guys, here's my next question. Were you ever part of a youth group when you were a child? Like, were you ever part of, uh, you know, uh, Boy Scouts if you're a boy, or Girl Scouts if you're a girl, or a hockey team, or a soccer team? Were you ever part of a group? Let's start out with Tommy. Yeah, but I played, uh, I played hockey growing up. Oh. Uh, I don't know why this came to mind when you asked for youth group, but I was an altar server Ooh, oh. at, at our church. I don't know why that came to mind. <laughs> no, that's that's a group. That's a group yeah. of people with snacks. It, true, crackers. Yeah. It, it, it's different than the boy Boy Scouts. They're not selling. They're not selling those snacks outside of a Lowe's. They're just giving it to you inside of a building. But you have to give up your soul to get just them. one at a time. Oh, yeah. Very good. You still religious? No. Ah, good. We'll give you a couple extra points for that one. Lachlan, <laughs> how about you? Part of a group? I was a Boy Scout for one night. One night. <laughs> That's all it takes to be molested. <laughs> They played uh, the, the kick the can where everyone hides and and, uh -huh. and uh, no one found me in the entire mm. group and they just went about their day and left me and uh, and had is this those, a serious story? Yeah, and so I was just sitting in the woods all by myself and no one even <laughs> gave a shit. <laughs> oh no! What? And then when I made a hot dog, I went to go put ketchup on my hot dog and the lady the camp uh, whatever Cub Scout leader wouldn't uh -huh. let me. Pour my own ketchup, so I was like, "I'm bouncing." You're like, "No, I deal with my own ketchup. I, I, I do my own sides." Excuse me, ma'am. Don't you would think? Oh, Part of survival. You. Thank you. Very good. Ah, Lachlan left out in the woods. Tommy helping the Christians. Candace, how about you? <laughs> I'm sorry, Lachlan. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm just still laughing at. It. Now you we know be. why you're a comic. I. Yeah. Uh, I. I was. I was a. I was in. You know, before Girl Scouts, there's brownies. Yeah, uh -huh. that. I don't really know what I guess because they're just younger. I just joined because I thought I was going to get brownies like right. all the yeah. time. But yeah, yeah, so I yeah I did that and didn't get molested doing that. And then I was also in gymnastics a lot. So, but I didn't get molested there either. I don't question, know why I found it disappointing when I said question that for it. Question for you though: the, the Girl Scouts <laughs> don't get molested, do they? They don't. They don't get molested. They get robbed. They they steal the money from their cookies. Is what happens to them, right? Oh, what? Well, I, mean, uh, I don't know. I feel like molestation happens across the board. <laughs> yeah, across the board. Across Pretty the much board. every job. Yeah. My God, I'm going to tell you, there was one kid in my neighborhood that wasn't molested, and it wasn't me. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> let's continue on. Let's get some points away. I'm going to give 106 for Jesus to Tommy. I'm going to give Lachlan 99 plus another 200. That's 299 because he got left all alone. He's still feeling a little bit sad about Candace yeah. joined the brownies. She wanted to get eaten. Uh, but she didn't end up getting get brownies out of that. So we'll give her 300 points. That's one more than Lachlan. Why? Because she's a lady, Lachlan. Be fucking polite. Let's move on. Uh, how much time do you think you spend on the phone a day? I watched the show the other day on Netflix, and I'm very concerned about everybody right now. How much time do you think you spend on your phone a day? And I'm talking everything. Business, fun, confusion. How much time do you spend on it? Lachlan? Probably Three hours. It said two two and a half hours, but I don't think it counts. Like just turning on your phone and looking at it and turning it off. Like I do that all day. Just right. look at it and turn it off. Look at it, and turn it off. Yeah, still in still in the same life. Turn it off. Like it, Tommy. How about you? I think I'm pushing seven. Wow, seven hours a day. I think, yeah, it it kills me. Yeah, I think so. What What do you think you're doing most? What do you think well, my job, I, I, for, for work, I end up being on my phone uh, all the time. It's, your boss, uh, your boss is always asking you to pick up a coffee, right? That's it. <laughs> Just Uber Eats all day. It's, Uber Eats all day. Oh, yeah. That's Candace, brutal. can you afford a phone? <laughs> <laughs> is there something about my face that says I can't afford a phone? <laughs> no, yeah. it's your art on your wall. <laughs> 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 this is my accent wall that I used to oh. podcast in front of and also do self-tape auditions that I randomly book. You book a lot more than randomly. You're a fantastic, <laughs> young lady. You're kicking ass and taking names. 
All right, I'm trying. Uh, phone, I mean, screen time. That's hard because sometimes I'll go like on a break where I just be off my phone for, I'll make myself stay off my phone for like days at a time. But I would say on an average, like I'm closer to like Lachlan. I'd say about three, three hours. Three hours. Nice. By the way, who's got who's got background noise? Somebody's got family watching a, yeah. a different show completely. I enjoy yeah. it, but it's, it's somebody's just Can laughing at something completely it's different. Room? It's Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa's got somebody else. Like, <laughs> People are calling you Jason Momoa. They're, no, you don't. they're calling me out for the noise. We're, call, we're calling you out. We're calling you out, lady. We'll come right over to your. We'll come Thank over you. to your house. We'll come over to your house and tell you to be quiet in your own house. That was a rude thing to do. Ah, oh, here we go. I didn't even give any points away. I didn't even give a shit. We'll give a, a three to Lachlan, seven to Tommy. And Candace, how many hours did you say? I'd say at an average about, similar to Lachlan, about three hours. That'll give you 300 points right there. This <laughs> very that sounds fair. I like that the way he just fair. flew in and kicked both those guys in the balls and took some points away from them. Here's the next question for everybody. Get ready for it yeah. now. Seriously. Seriously, I'm about to tell a question. I'm about to. I'm about to bring it up. Heckler, man. Sorry. You guys, were you getting heckled? Oh, fuck. No, nobody treats you worse than your own family. I'll tell you I that. Mean, much. You're just disrespectful. Lindsay yeah. said, "This sounds like my kids' Zoom school." Lindsay, stay off your Zoom <laughs> kids' school, you son of a bitch. Hey, do you guys have a Christmas to? Holy shit! I just had a stroke in the middle. Then you guys have a. <laughs> you guys have a Christmas tradition that you still keep up with to this day. I'm going to ask this again to Lachlan when he comes back, but I'm going to start out with you guys. Do you have a Christmas tradition? Candace? Yes. Uh, uh, when I go home, I go home to Cincinnati, Ohio. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the Midwest. <laughs> uh, every Christmas. And my mom uh -huh. makes this thing called Special Breakfast. Oh. <laughs> it actually has a real name. But she's been calling it special breakfast since we were kids growing up in New York. So it's this. Uh, Explain how it's special. It, I, it's, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's really not. It's just like pancake batter with like apple spiced apple rings, oh. like a spiced apple syrup that she puts over it. Mm. But and, and again, not special. But she makes it every no, fucking year. So she yeah. makes it special. Your mom is fantastic. She does. She Lachlan, the, the question Lachlan. was, while you were dealing with your family hating what you do for a career, uh, the <laughs> question was, do you have you have a Christmas tradition? Do you have a Christmas tradition? I'll let you think about it, and I'll go to Tommy while you think about it. Tommy? Yeah, we. I'm, I'm one of eight kids, and we Holy all... Shit. Yeah, it's a lot. And uh, on Christmas morning, we all go up to my parents' bedroom still before, like, starting the day. <laughs> We used to have to go up there because so we couldn't like go look at like the tree or anything. Oh my god! And uh, yeah, and and we just still we kind of we kind of mess with them. My parents hate it now at this point, but yeah, no doubt. Like eight eight grown kids! Adults. My god, surprise! You guys yeah. didn't walk in on them humping that many kids. I'm surprised well, you didn't catch them doing it. I'm, I'm, I'm we sorry can to bring that, that later. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to bring up your parents <laughs> having sex, but I love your family tradition so far. Christmas, everybody goes to the parents' room and says, "Let's start this day off right," and then they're poor. So everybody gets a penny. Yep. Lachlan, what's your tradition? <clears throat> the family gets together and uh, plays hockey. Uh, once oh. a yeah. So my brother-in-law's family rents a rink, some uh -huh. ice, ice time. And we all lace up the skates for one day a year, which is about the most dangerous thing, as you know. Absolutely. Do. I think every Canadian family has uh, that, that once a year guy who snaps his arm on the, on the ice. Just a bunch of groin muscles, just taking oh, it down, boy. Oh, and my, my, my brother-in-law, like he plays, and he gets real chippy. Even though I don't have all the equipment anymore, he's still like tapping at my shins. And oh, oh my god, that is good. I like your tradition. Tommy has a hockey team, but they meet in his parents' bedroom, sit around, and talk about <laughs> things. Lachlan has his brother-in-law rent a rink and then get abused because his beautiful hair is flowing while he's skating down the rink. And then Candace <clears throat> goes home. Her mom tricks her, sells us a special breakfast, and all she does is take some pancake batter, put it in with a bunch of apples, <laughs> throw some syrup on it. My God, my God. We're going to have to give Candace some extra points there because she comes from a family that has no idea what a special breakfast is. You know, I don't know what we're I'm going to give you 500 points, Candace. Tommy, I'm going to give you 800, 100 points for every person in your family. This has finally worked out for your parents. Lachlan, I'm going to give you... Mm, 
45, 45, 45 points. That's right. <laughs> Continuing on. My God, this is a fun game so far. Hey, guys, you're all comedians, so I can ask this question tonight. What is the worst comedy club you've ever played? Oh. That's right. That's the question I'm going to ask right oh. now. What's the worst comedy club oh. you've ever played? Lachlan. I don't remember the name of it. Um, <laughs> Trickery. <laughs> but and if you're in America, maybe you know it. It's a comedy club with a like one of those dirt uh, race tracks, right? Yes. Across the street. Do you know? Yes, this I, I, I know it, where it is. It's in uh, Peoria. It is it. In, it's in Peoria. Okay. The jukebox. That's the one. Oh yeah. And you're you're on stage while these these races are going on across the streets. Yes. And it's just and it's and it's everyone who couldn't get into the race. <laughs> It's, it's like the people that didn't know that there was going to be a race. You know, in you know in the Dukes of Hazards, you remember the, yeah. the, where Boss Hogg ran his his saloon? I mm -hmm. forgot what it was called. And they had the outside shot of it. It looks like the outside shot of uh, uh, the Boar's Nest. Yeah. The Boar's Nest. The Boar's Nest is a horrible gig. Tommy, worst gig you've ever played? I think I'm going with the Drop Comedy Club in, uh, in South Bend. It's across the street from the jail. And it's oh. just... Uh, it's a rough go. It's like back of a diner. I, I I've had some, I guess, some fun times there. Mostly, I'm batting about five percent there. Five percent! Holy shit! Prisoners do not find you funny, Candace. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, this is crazy, but I honestly, does it have to be a club, or can it just be like my worst gig ever? You can be a worst gig if you don't want to. If you don't want to say a club, so you never get booked. It's not. I just haven't literally had any like awful club experience. I'm not. I haven't been on the road a lot, so I haven't done mm -hmm. like I haven't done that. But I did a wedding one. I did stand up at a wedding one Ooh. time, and uh, they ejected me in my. <laughs> You did stand up at a wedding and then they weren't appreciative of Oh no, they hated it. They as they literally sent the one of the bridesmaids over to me and my friend who also performed and they were like, We need you to leave. <laughs> we got kicked out. It Sorry, was, you cannot have steak or chicken. They said to you, it's time for you to go. I was eating the salmon. Oh, you're eating the salmon, you're having fish at a wedding, that's gonna ruin everything. Sorry, we've seen airplane, this is not gonna happen. Lachlan, I'm gonna give you a hundred thousand points for saying that. Tommy, you get a hundred thousand points. Candace, y'all get a hundred thousand points because you said I have done this shitty gig and that impressed me very, very much. Oh, we're almost at the end of this round. This round's been going very well. It was kind of rough at the beginning when Lachlan's family was heckling him while he was trying to do the show. Candace almost finished painting her wall, but didn't, if you could tell on the side. And that's the side wall. Oh, is that the side wall? <laughs> it's a different wall. Oh, there, there. Um, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. My God. And look at this. Kathy just comes in flying out of nowhere. Ian Bag is awesome. That's right. I'm winning my own game right now. Tommy, we're going to get you two curtains that match the color of the <laughs> I don't know what this is. <laughs> I'll tell you what that is. I don't know where you're living, but I'm pretty sure there's a war going on. That's what I'm arguing. Sure oh, my God. Here's a nice question that I like to ask every so often. Who's your doppelganger? That's what I'm asking. Who's your doppelganger? We've all got one. Who's your doppelganger, Tommy? I've gotten, um, uh, shit, now I'm, uh, oh, I've gotten like, uh, like Philip Seymour Hoffman's little brother. I've gotten oh, that. Oh, that's very nice. They're like, you're a good looking version of Philip Seymour Hoffman. That's <laughs> awesome. That's nice of people. <laughs> Lachlan, you've already had Jason Momoa tonight, but let's, who else? I get Jesus. The, his Lord, yes, and Savior. Oh, wow. Well, I get that. Yeah. People would yeah. shout out, Jesus, as I walk by strangers. <laughs> <laughs> Sing it. I just, Jesus. I just want, I'm just not cutting my hair. I'm not trying to make a statement. I just don't want to cut my hair. Well, you're not cutting your hair. You are making a statement. You're like, I'm prepared for a pandemic and you can't stop me. That's okay. what you're saying with your statement. I'm thanking you for Jesus for being here. By the way, if you need any snacks, Tommy's got them. Candace, <laughs> who's your doppelganger? Um, I've actually got, there's two that I hear a lot. And the first one is uh, Journey Smollett. I don't know if you know who that is. You guys all know who yeah, Jesse yeah. Smollett is. He His had sister. that whole... His sister, yeah. She and she's yeah. actually been an actor for a very long time. Anyway, yeah. her and uh Miranda Cosgrove from Disney. Oh. Miranda <laughs> Cosgrove, I like yeah. it. Who very actually nice. just I met her. I just met her on Friday. Oh, you met her. What'd you guys say? <laughs> Hello, nice to meet you. That's it. 
Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. You <laughs> seem to look a lot like me, but I don't mm -hmm. like. Oh, no, 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 no. That is fantastic. I'm going to give everybody 17 points for that. 17 points. That's what's going on there. We're coming up to the end of this round, and this round is going to be finished with two questions via video. This first question comes to us from a guy from Green Bay. Get ready for it. Hello, Ian. Internet football player here. Here's my question for tonight's panel. Other than the Packers, who will win the Super Bowl this year? Nice. Very nice. I ended up playing it again by mistake. Very nice question. Everybody's a football fan if you're living in America. I'm not. I hate it. I think it's very boring. Who cares? Let's answer that question. I'll tell you, I think who's going to win the Super Bowl after you guys answer. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? That's asked by uh, a Packers fan from the Internet. That's what it was. Tommy, who do you think is going to win the Internet? I have to say Minnesota Vikings. Who's going to win the internet? Sorry. Sorry, let me go back to it. Who's going to win the Super Bowl, not the internet? I apologize. <laughs> I, said the internet. I think the Minnesota Vikings are going to win the internet and the Super Bowl. So nice. Ooh, they're going to yeah. burn their city down, and then they're going to rise from the ashes oh, yeah. and win the Super Bowl. Very, exactly. very wrong, Tommy. Lockwood? <laughs> oh, I think the, uh, the Washington football team has already mm. uh, won for me oh. by changing their name. For yes. sure, a like step it. forward. We've, we're moving forward. We're advancing as a civilization. I got the victory already. I no? like this. That, that's a, no, that's a very good answer. Unlike Jimmy, who cares? Look at this angry son of a bitch right there. Who cares? <laughs> as he wears a Buffalo Bills hat. That's fucking interesting right there. <laughs> Candace? Yeah, I don't know anything about football. Uh, so let's just say, let's go, since I'm from Cincinnati, the Bengals. No, oh, the Bengals. God damn it. I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to give some points away right now. Zero for Candace, because there's no way in hell the Cincinnati Bengals are going to win. Lachlan, Lachlan came flying through, and I'm going to give him 99 points. It's very nice. He said, we've just come together as a society, and we've changed the name of a football team, so they win. Tommy says, I'm going to go with Minnesota. I don't like buildings that are standing. Burn them down. We're going to give him 67 points. Here's the next question from the internet, my friends. It's not from the internet, but I'm going to ask you this question, because this i seen today, and I want you to tell me tell me what is going on tell me what's going on there let's start out with you candace tell me what was going on in that last video i mean somebody was pissing on a grammy right oh very in a nice. toilet bowl and very i'm gonna guess it was justin bieber because he loves peeing on things oh. and so does r kelly Sometimes R. Kelly. No, no, it's it's that's that's something that that he would not pee on that. It is not breathing. He would not pee on that. If it was breathing, he would pee on that. <laughs> Lachlan, what do you think was happening in that video? I think that guy's just uh, that's just his house. He's just that got that many Grammys or that woman, and they just that's how they decorate the house. Wouldn't it be mm -hmm. great to just open a toilet and there's just a Grammy to piss on? Mm -hmm. How right. how balls is that? To how just... great was that? And by the way, how many people were in his bathroom? It sounded like your house. There were so many people talking. <laughs> that was Tommy? my house. Was Tommy, my what do you think? What was going on in that video? A similar thought to Lachlan. I think that was some sort of interactive art piece in maybe That's Taylor Swift's sure. house. She's got a model peeing on one of her Grammys. For oh. sure. You're all wrong. Zero points for everybody. That was Kanye West getting his prostate checked. I don't know if you seen him dribble. <laughs> he was dribbling very hard there. He needs to get his prostate. That's a Kanye West. God damn, he'll do anything for Blondike. That's what he said right there. Okay, that is the end of that round. Let's move on to the next round. The next round is called Pick It. I usually play a video there, but I didn't because I played too many videos. People are getting all fired up. Roger Rooney's all fired up. We're going to start out. This is called Pick It. I'm going to start out with Tommy, and I'm going to go to Candace, and then I'm going to go to Lachlan, and then we're going to come back around and do it again. We'll do it as many times as I feel is necessary. Get ready for this. You have to pick one. I'm going to give you two. Get ready. Tommy. Tommy, Twitter or Instagram? Twitter. Ooh, very nice. Candace, TikTok or Snapchat? They're both trash, but I guess I'll go with Snapchat. Oh, I, I, I said pick one. I said don't judge both. That's not what I said. I said pick <laughs> one. Candace said I'll pick them both. <laughs> Lachlan, Facebook or MySpace? LinkedIn, man. We need, we need to get LinkedIn. jobs. <laughs> We all need to get a job. Oh my God. God damn hippies. Unemployment is up. <laughs> LinkedIn. Bring it it back. 
Pick one of these. All right, let's go to LinkedIn. <laughs> Candace out front, Tommy second, Lachlan third place on that. Let's move on to the next one. Here we go. Tommy, slide or swings? Swings. Ooh. Candace, ski or snowboard? Skis. Ooh, uh, Lachlan, Italy or France? <laughs> Is he frozen? I can't tell if he's frozen. He looks like he might be frozen. He might be frozen. <laughs> he's he's so model esque. Exactly he's, <laughs> oh, he's back. He's back. He's, <laughs> you froze like better than anybody I've ever seen. Everybody else that has ever frozen just oh, looks yeah? like a complete fucking terrifying thing. You just just look goddamn gorgeous. The question <laughs> Thanks, man. was Italy or France? I'll, I'll take oh, France. Take France. France. Very nice. Yeah. South of France. Very sure. nice. You're out front. Candace is second. Tommy third. That is fantastic. Get ready, Tommy. Here it comes. Pen or pencil? Pencil. 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 It makes a lot of mistakes. Uh, Candace. <laughs> Phone or tablet? Phone. Uh, oh. Phone. Lachlan. Calculator or abacus? I just love how excited you get about these questions. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way to go. You got something more, something more abacus. What calculator or abacus? Ah oh, man, computer calculator count. No. <laughs> computer calculator. <laughs> no, it, it, yeah, it's, you pick the calculator. That is a calculator. By the way, right. Cody Bear is playing along tonight. He's just playing along with all of them. So Lachlan's out front. Candace second. Tommy third. Again, that's okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Tommy. Pharmacy or drugstore? <laughs> uh, drugstore. <Ooh. laughs> Candice, movie or cinema? Cinema. Oh, very nice. Well, Lachlan, <laughs> toilet or loo? <laughs> toilet or loo? <laughs> 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 you have no idea what he's getting into, and I'm loving it. <laughs> this is why you don't do drugs, kids. It's just <laughs> toilet or loo. Uh, toilets. Toilets. <laughs> you like your toilets rather than your loos. I like it. Tommy's out front. Candace second. Lachlan third place. We're slowing down the game. Uh, <laughs> we got to get you out of here by seven thirty-five. Your family's got to eat. Here we go. Here I make them go. all food. Tommy, get ready for this question. Or or rom-com rom-com oh sure. you got there uh candace vhs or beta i'm gonna go with vhs oh somebody comes from money lachlan <laughs> hbo or showtime hbo Ooh, lachlan comes from money too candace and lachlan <laughs> tied for first place Goddamn, tommy third place <laughs> here we go here comes the next question tommy lemon or lime lime oh, <laughs> i don't know i'm taking it so heavily <laughs> yes you're never gonna get scurvy candace sprite or seven up uh seven up Ooh, lachlan Squirt or Mr. Pib? <laughs> Squirt. Oh yes, that's a way to go. That is fantastic. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna give everybody. Well, you're all even on that one. You guys are all very fantastic. That is the end of that round. That was called picket. That was a good time. Everybody was had a good time on that. That round was brought to you by Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky, proud sponsor of Around the Bank since 1989. Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky yeah. also hanging with Tom Segura, telling him jokes. Wayne Gretzky, proud sponsor <laughs> Around the Bank. <laughs> This is round robin time, guys. Round robin. This is where it all comes down to who will be my best friend. I'm going to ask a question. You guys are going to go head to head. The first one to answer that question will get it right. Tommy, you're going to go against Lachlan on the first question. Get ready for this. Get ready for this first one. Get ready. People at home, have your pens and paper ready. Try to beat these people at home. They are very, very talented. Here we go, Tommy. <laughs> Lachlan, who will answer this question first? Which planet has the most gravity? Jupiter. Earth. Jupiter. Who said Jupiter? Who got, 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 Tommy takes down Lachlan, oh, swings wow. by his hair and says, let me answer that question. One of the only other Did you know that, that, dude? Or did you no. Know? <laughs> no, I only know I'm that. Like, who that. knows that? I like that Lachlan got mad and said, did you know that? Did you just forget <laughs> that? Why don't you know that? Candace, you're going against Lachlan on this one. Get ready. Get ready. Whoever answers this out loud first will get the point. 
What natural disaster is measured by the Richter scale? Earthquake. Oh, tied. I say tied. Tommy, what do you think? I say tied. Let me check with the, let me check with the goddamn judges. Okay, tied. It's tied. it's tied. One point for Lachlan, one point for Candace, one point for Tommy. This is very exciting. <laughs> Candace, you're going to go get Tommy on this one? <laughs> get ready. The first one to say this out loud. Please say it before the other person so I can give somebody a one and somebody a zero. Here is a question. What is the common name for dried plums? Prunes. Prunes, Candace. Oh, gosh, damn it. It. She showed her age right there. She's much older than Tommy. You don't have to tell with goddamn I can't believe he delayed on that. I know. I almost, I almost said raisins, which would have been more embarrassing. Oh, that would have been very bad. <laughs> Bex, you keep your mouth shut. Very yeah, very embarrassing. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the next question. This is for everybody. Everybody. All three of you go against each other right now. Get ready. Where in the body is the femur found? Rib? My leg. A oh, leg. Candace said leg. Tommy said thigh, but he got two specific. The answer is leg. And Lachlan <laughs> said rib. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I was spot on. Of course, the guy that broke him a spare rib. <laughs> What's the difference between a thigh and a leg? Oh, very. I, I don't know if you've ever well, been to the thigh, and then there's, there's a whole bunch of bones in the rest of the leg. Tommy, I prefer if I told the answer rather than you. I would rather, <laughs> okay. 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 Now, Tommy's very Let's upset. Up. Point for that. Oh my God. <laughs> Once again, this is all three up against each other. The first one to answer this right, and then we will go into the championship round to find out who that one is. And this one is a very exciting. Something I didn't know. Get ready. Here comes the question now. What bone are babies born without? Did you know this? What bone was babies born without? Babies are born without. Oh, man. Uh, mm. Baby, he should know. A skull. Kneecaps. Candace is right. What? Oh, my God. Did you Google that, or how did you figure that out? No, I I, I was a science major, and I, I also took anatomy classes a bunch. So, but it took me a minute, because I couldn't remember, but then it it just popped in my wow. head. Fantastic. You will be going in the finals. You will be going in the finals against both Tommy and Lachlan. They do, will I, be do, I, against you. do I get bonus points if I tell you that the anatomical term for a kneecap? Sure. Patella. <laughs> Patella. Patella. My God. <laughs> also, fantastic mushrooms. The patella mushrooms. I don't know if anybody's had oh, those. Yes. Very, very good. good Here good. we go. This is for the champion. Nutella. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a little above the kneecaps, the Nutella. Anyways, here we go. Right now, this is for the champion. Right now, all three of you are going against each other on this champion. This is very exciting. Who will be my best friend for the week? This week, September 15th. 2020, year of the pandemic. Who will be my best friend? One that answers this first will be my best friend. Here's a question. What is the smallest country in the world? Oh, shit. Here goes Guam? The no, not Guam. Uh, well, how about, uh, what's that little one? It's That's it. That's Micronesia. No, no, it's nowhere near there. I'm going to tell you that. You're going really to be quite surprised, and it's not going to even sound like a country when you say it. Have I already said it? Am I already, no. like, am I out? No, no, you're I not out. Be. Whoever says it's first, we probably shouldn't have a conversation. The other two are just not getting very well done. Vatican yeah. City. Vatican City <laughs> is right. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, uh, is it Ep Epstein's Island? Yes. Epstein Island <laughs> is not a country. <laughs> <laughs> It is It is part of Florida. If you really read about it, those fucking creepy sons of bitches all go there. Guess what, guys? Lachlan Patterson is my best friend for the week because he knew the Vatican City, the place where Jesus go. Lachlan Patterson is the winner. A great game played by Candace and Tom. But ah, God damn it. Lachlan had to fight internet problems and his family heckling. <laughs> and win my best friend for the week, my God. Lachlan, actually tell us about your real best friend. Tell us all about your real best friend. Uh, Matthew Coyne, uh, we played, uh, we, we went to high school together, we played basketball together. Um, yeah, we've just seen each other at rock bottom and all the way up to where we are now, I guess. That's awesome. I, to, to medium a, bottom. 
you don't talk <laughs> to your best friend. I, I don't know if that counts, but I rarely talk to him, but he will always be my best friend. But when exactly. you do talk to him, you go to exactly to the same place you left off. It's a great place. It's a good yeah. feeling. I love it. What's uh, uh, Coin, Matthew Coin. I like yeah. it. Candace, tell us about your best friend. Oh, my best friend. Uh, she, we met in comedy. She doesn't do comedy anymore, but we Ooh. had a we met uh, at the comedy store, and then we started doing a web series together called Creepy Caress years ago. Oh. And she is still to this day my best friend. That is nice. Your best friend. Your best friend is. Creepy caress. I like it. That's always good to have a best friend. Tommy, tell us all about your best friend. Probably one of your eight siblings. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Yeah, no, my mom. Uh, no, Richard Park uh, would probably be my best friend. It's a guy I met at work like uh, when I was an intern in college. We ended mm -hmm. up uh, traveling a little bit together. We, we bartended in Peru for a few months uh together we kind of became best friends there and then yeah. lived in chicago for the past five years together. i tell you what if you go to peru and smuggle heroin back in your butthole with a guy he's gonna be your best friend you don't, that you is, it. god damn it that is how you did guys you're all my best friends i know lachlan has the title but you're all my best friends and i thank you for dropping by and being part of the show guys and girls at home thanks for tuning in we'll be back next week if you're in long beach come see us down at the old deep yacht have a good time. Have some stand-up outside. And you remember, pick up your dog shit if you take your dog for a walk. That is my reminder. Good night. Take care.